Hello everybody, this is Bytech and welcome to my new video. Today we are going to talk about Kent bathroom water softener. So I would like to take you through the results uh, and perform a test before uh, regenerating the water using the softener and after regenerating the water using the softener. So let's go ahead and check how effective this water softener actually is. So let's get started. So it's been 25 days approximately since the last time we did the regeneration. So let's first have a look at uh, the water quality before regeneration. I will explain uh, the steps to perform um, in order to get the results and also explain uh, what is the current hardness level. Uh, the hardness that we are measuring is called uh, total hardness. Uh, this is not the TDS measurement. So TDS is only used to measure the quality of drinking water whereas uh, normal water we use a total hardness as a measure. So I've purchased a test kit from Amazon called uh, Aquasol. Uh, it's easily available uh, on any website like Amazon or Flipkart. Uh, this cost me about 700 to 800 rupees. And uh, I'm going to test the quality of water using this kit. So uh, let's get started first and measure the uh, total hardness before uh, the regeneration. So to start with, uh, we will take 10 ml of this water. So this is approximately 10 ml. Once we have that, uh, we need to add TH1S, uh, one spoonful. Uh, when I say one spoon, it's a very small spoon uh, that they have provided with the test kit. I'm going to enter that into this 10 ml of water. And then I'm going to mix this well. And you will see that the color changes to a shade of purple. Once this is done, Place 10 to 12 drops of TH2 into the mix. Uh, the color is purple right now. I'm going to put about 12 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. You mix that well. And you see that the color has changed. to a shade of red. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but it's almost reddish in color now. Start entering TH5 one by one and depending on the number of drops uh, it takes for the water to turn blue, uh, we multiply that by the number 25 and then we get the total hardness in the water. So after entering TH2, if the water turned blue, it means there's no hardness present in your water at all. But since it's turned a shade of red, uh, we have to now check what's the hardness level by entering this these do drops. So let's start. One, two. Twenty three, twenty four. Twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. And you see the water is now turned blue. So 28 into 25, which is 700 ppm of uh, total hardness in the water currently before regeneration. So now let's go ahead and regenerate the water. To do so, you just need a uh, crystal or rock salt. Uh, just we are using the normal Tata salt, which is around 18 to 19 rupees per kg. You would need a uh, half a kg of salt. You can see that half a packet, half a kg of salt to regenerate the water. And let me show you how that process is done. So this is the Kent bathroom water softener that we have installed and we are using for the last eight months about uh, right now. And like I said, uh, we haven't regenerated the water uh, for 20 to 25 days now. And normally uh, you need to regenerate this every uh, 10 to 15 days depending on the amount of usage of water. So in order to uh, regenerate water, we will first have to fill in the salt here and then enter water and make the brine chamber full of salt water. So let's go ahead and do that now. I will remove this cap. And this can come out. And you put your half kg of salt in this. So I'm gonna put half kg of salt in this. Now this goes back into the water softener. So I'm going to place the salt back into the softener and now we are going to fill it with water. So 
it's filled with salt and I've poured water into the brine chamber now. So the next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to get the salt water into uh, the resin compartment which is this one and then we also have to make sure that the salt water is cleared from this compartment and goes outside of the drainage pipe here. So what you need to do is uh, you need to switch on two things. One is the drain pipe here. Change that to drain and change this to regeneration. Now once that's done, you will see slowly uh, the water level will start reducing. It will go into the resin chamber here and the water will flow out of this pipe. So this entire process uh, will take about 5 to 10 minutes. We will have to uh, come back to this equipment after 5 to 10 minutes and uh, I will show you the next steps then. As you can see, uh, the water has cleared from this chamber as well as here and there is no further drainage so what we'll do is we will change back uh, this setting from regeneration to service mode and once you do that uh, we will have to let the water flow for about two to three minutes so that uh, the fresh water goes into this chamber and uh, the salt residue clears out of here so let's give it about two to three minutes uh, once that is done uh, we should have soft water uh, in this bathroom and we will repeat the water test and check uh, what is the water quality like or what is the water hardness level like post regenerating the water okay so let's perform the same test again this time after regenerating the water so we'll start with taking 10 ml again yeah so that's about 10 ml of water here and we'll once again one spoon of th1s into the 10 ml uh, 10 ml of water mix it well next uh, 10 to 12 drops of th2 uh, if the water turns red that means uh, it means there's hardness if it turns blue it means there's no hardness so let's put 10 to 12 drops of th2 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So as you can see, the water has turned red, which means there is hardness present in the water. So now let's next put the TH5 uh, solution into this and count the number of drops it takes for the water to turn blue. We will stop as soon as this uh, liquid turns blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine ten and you'll see within ten drops this has turned blue now which means the total hardness has reduced from 700 to just 250 now i hope this was informative uh, if you like what you see please do consider subscribing to my channel so that i uh, keep you informed of further uh, additions uh, to my home and any new technology that I come across. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye